In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to um, accept and work on your uh, lab assignments using the IntelliJ IDE. So, if you would rather use Eclipse or uh, Repellit or just simply use the command line, there'll be separate videos for um, those particular IDEs. But in this video, we're only going to be talking about IntelliJ. So each week for your lab assignment, um, you'll be coming to uh, Blackboard. So you'll see, once you click on the lab assignments link, you'll see the list of labs. Um, as the week goes on, there will be more and more labs in this list. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on that link, and it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. So the first assignment um, that we do on the first week of class, you're going to have to select your um, your name from the class roster to associate your GitHub account with a, a class student. After this week, you won't have to do this particular step um, and you'll be brought instead to a page that looks like this. So here, we're being asked to accept the assignment from the GitHub classroom. And once we do that, what it does is it copies all of the, um, the GitHub code from our particular assignment uh, into our GitHub account. Once we do that, we'll get to a page that looks something like this, where we have our list of files, our assignment is down here, but what we're interested in is this link here, where we're gonna get our the link to our repository and copy the clone URL. Once we do that, we can go over to IntelliJ and we're gonna select Git from version control we're going to copy in our URL and ask it to clone it. We might be asked to log in at this point, um, but I've already logged in on this machine, so you should follow the prompts to do that. Once we have our um, repository as a project in uh, IntelliJ, you can see that we have the assignment is in the readme.markdown, which this will contain all the instructions that you need to follow for that week's lab. And then it's also gonna contain a source folder most weeks that contains, say, some code that we want you to fill in and additional code files that you might need to add. So once we're in here, we can make whatever changes we want to. Say we wanna add some, some comment to this file, and we're gonna save it. And we can configure and rerun all of this all that we want to. Once we have saved all of our information that we want, and actually every time you get up from your machine, you should be doing this, what we wanna do is first commit our changes. So here I added a new comment. So we need to add a commit message which basically says what you did in that particular commit. We want to commit it to our local machine. Once we have it on our local machine, we want to make sure that we push that assignment up onto GitHub. So until this moment, nothing has changed on GitHub. It's only changed on our local machine. So once we hit this push button, what we see is all of the commits that we're going to be pushing up to GitHub. And we're going to go ahead and push. Once you do that, you'll see a message in the corner that says we pushed one commit to the origin. And if we go back to the GitHub website and look at our repository, we can see that in that file now, we've added our comment, right? And you wanna make sure that you commit and push every time you make a change, and especially every time you come to office hours and you want one of the instructional staff to look at your code, right? We won't see anything that you haven't pushed to the server. So say we wanna make, let's do this one more time. Add second comment, right? Save, first thing we do is commit. Commit to our local machine, and then finally push up to GitHub. And we wanna wait for that confirmation message that it was pushed. And now we can see it here again, right? 
So remember, the basic steps to accepting and submitting your assignment is clicking on the link in Blackboard to accept the assignment, going to your repository, getting the link to clone it into IntelliJ, cloning it into IntelliJ, editing what you need to, and then committing, pushing, and then confirming that those uh, commits actually were made to the server.